Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today we're going to talk to you a little bit about stealing more bags, okay? Stealing more bases, okay? Um, the more and more baseball evolves, the more and more uh, running and speed is important in baseball, right? Okay, so you watch um, uh, Billy, Billy Hamilton. Sorry, Billy Hamilton. He turns a walk into a double just about every time, okay? Or a weak bunt single. He beats it out. Next thing you know, he's on second or third base, okay? So speed is obviously so, so important in baseball. Running down uh, fly balls in outfield, first step explosiveness, first step quickness, getting balls in the gap or in the hole, um, home to first times, first, to, uh, I'm sorry, home to second times. A lot, a lot, a lot of little things going to speed. We wanna talk a little bit about stealing bases today, okay? Stealing bases, you go through these couple of different processes, pretty, pretty easy if you think about it, okay? Um, and we came up with a little acronym, Steel Bags. Okay, so we're going to first talk about stance. We're going to talk about being heavy on your toes, toes heavy, um, evaluating the pitcher, arms ready, uh, lift and push is kind of my key on how to how to get out of your how to how to get out of your stance and accelerate through uh, to second base. We're going to talk about burying the head. We're going to talk about how to accelerate, gaining ground, and slide. Okay, so S T A S T E A L S T E A L. B A G S. Okay. So first one, guys, we're talking about stance. Okay. Stance here. Okay. We want to be a little bit wider than shoulder width. Okay. If we're going to steal bags, we got to go obviously to our right. But if a, pitch, a pitcher picks, we got to be able to bounce back to our left, right? So if we're t if we're doing 60s, we're going to be a little bit more narrow here. If we're stealing bases, obviously we got to be a little bit wider. We want a toe to instep uh, stance here. Okay, so we can clear our backside, our back leg when we go to, to sprint. We want to make sure we're balanced, okay? Obviously, we don't want to lean. I'm not telling you anything you don't know right now. Okay, we don't want to lean either way. Okay, we want to make sure we're, we're sitting deep into our stance here. Okay, we're not standing up. When he goes to the plate, now we got to drop down and run, okay? So we want to be able to make sure we're in a really good athletic position. We're here, okay? You notice my shins are kind of pointing back to my the center of my body. Okay, we're not way out here like this, okay? If I want to go this way, my shin has to point me this way. If I want to dive back to the bag, this shin has to point back to the bag, okay? If we're just doing straight up 60s, I might get here, now both shins are facing the bag, right? Okay, so we want to make sure we're balanced, we want to make sure our knees not so much in here like this, but nice and comfortable here. Okay, we're just gonna sit deep in our stance. Okay, what I mean by toes heavy, okay? I don't mean, I don't want you up here like this on your toes. I don't want you flat footed either. Okay, I want the majority of our weight on the front two thirds of our foot. Okay, so if I'm in a good position here, you ought to be able to take a credit card and slide up under my heel. Okay, so we're not too heavy there. I just want your mental process, your thought process, to be heavy, heavy, heavy out front on your feet. Now we can run, now we can turn and run. Okay, the third thing, guys, maybe the most critical um, aspect about this is evaluate, okay? Evaluate the pitcher, okay? Does the pitcher come set? What's his cadence? How long does he wait when he comes set? Does he look twice? Does he pick more than once? Does he pick more than two times? Okay, what, what's his move like? Is it a good, is it a balk move? Is it a step off throw move? Is he a lefty? Is he coming to you? Does he look at you at all? Okay, all these things, guys, you should be evaluating uh, while you're in the dugout, okay? Your buddy's on first base, or one of your athletes, I'm sorry, is on first base. These guys should be thinking about this the whole time, right? Okay, you got a right-handed pitcher up there, runner on first, no out. What's the pitcher doing, okay? Is he checking them? Is he checking them once, going to the plate? Checking them once, going to the plate? Next time you got him, he's going to check once, go to the plate, and you're gone. Okay, so evaluate the, the whole time. Evaluate the pitcher. Evaluate your running plan and approach, okay, just like you do at the plate. The last one, I'm sorry, the next one, guys, is arms ready, okay? You can always tell when somebody's going, or generally tell when somebody's going based on their arms, okay? If they're like this, it's a pretty good chance they're not stealing, okay? If they're down like this, just wave them, probably a pretty good chance they're not stealing if the next time they're here, 
right? So make sure that your arms are always ready, whether you're stealing or you're not. You're going to give it away. You're going to tip it if they're not ready. So you're here. Your arms are bent, okay? They're not leaning like this. They're here. That way, you, if you want to go back to the bag, you can. If you want to go to uh, second base when you're steal, you can do that, okay? Next, guys, okay? So we're, we're working, working our way down. Now what we're going to do is lift and push, okay? What that means, if we want to go to second base, we're going to go to our right, second base, we're going to lift our right foot and push with our back leg, okay, our left foot, okay? It isn't this. Right? It's a very, very, very small, quick lift. Okay, we're gonna lift this foot and drive back with our left foot. So it's lift and push there. Okay, and when we do that, we're putting our shins in a good angle to run. Okay, so when we're here, we're gonna lift this foot, drive that back foot. When we do that, now we got positive shin angles on our left leg and our right leg pointing this way. Okay, and that's what we want. Okay, we don't wanna cross over, it takes too long. Okay, if you're here and this foot doesn't move and you cross over, that takes entirely too long to do. Whereas this, okay, now you're ready to go. Now this leg comes through as we've cleared room, okay, with our toe to instep stance, we've cleared room now for this leg to come straight through. Okay, now that we're on our way to second base, now is when bags comes in, bury the head, accelerate, gain ground, slide, okay. So now that we're running, we want to tuck our chin, we want to bury our head, we want to get a good forward lean headed to second base, okay? We don't want to come out of our stance to stand straight up. We lost all our power, okay? Propelling ourselves, pushing ourselves towards second base, okay? So when we come out and we lift and push, throw our hands, we're going to bury our head. If you want to get a peek in, that's fine, okay? But you're going to tuck your chin, bury your head, stay low and you will come up as you run, okay? The A is for accelerate, guys. There's not a ton of max out speed in baseball. Okay, if you followed us at all, you know that, you should know that. So acceleration is huge. As we're running, okay, we wanna drive this back leg through, okay? As we accelerate, we're gonna gain ground, okay? We're gonna accelerate, driving that back leg through, you're trying to drive your leg as far forward as you can without overstriding. Okay, so if we if it takes us nine strides right now to steal second base, um, we want it to take eight. If it takes us eight, we want it to take seven. Okay, we want to cut down the amount of strides as much as we possibly can. Again, without overstriding. Okay, so we come through here. We don't want to overstride and slow us down here. We want to stride hit right below our hips, even behind our hips, and drive even more, okay? The last one is slide. Guys, it's faster slide head first than it is feet first, okay? Um, it may be a little bit more dangerous. You may get a, a thumb, a wrist, a shoulder, something like that. Slide how you want to, how you're comfortable, okay? But a head first slide is faster than a feet first slide, okay? So as you're running, okay? Your momentum is already taking you this way. We already got a pretty good lean forward. And all you got to do is dive head first into the bag, as opposed to running, having to come back and throw your feet forward first. Okay? So, really quick, you know, that's about nine different things in, in, in terms of stealing bases to steal more, to steal more bags. Um, you guys, try each one. Okay, get proficient in each one. Notice it starts from our stance and ends in our slide. There's a purpose for that, okay? You gotta master each one to get, uh, uh, to, get to stealing bases more efficiently, more proficiently, and, um, you know, and try and pad your stats a little bit. So, uh, again, let's run through them again. Um, stance, okay, you're gonna sit deep in your stance, sit deep in your position. Toes are heavy. You're gonna evaluate your pitcher. Your arms have to be ready, ready to run are ready to dive back. You're gonna lift and push out of your stance, bury your head, accelerate, gain ground, and slide head first, preferably. Um, but there is nothing wrong with sliding feet first. Obviously a little bit more safe, um, especially in the upper extremity, but it is a little bit slower. So I'll let you decide, coaches, you guys decide on how you wanna do that, but just know that feet first is just a little bit slower than head first. So guys, uh, take these. Uh, try them out, do them, perfect them, get better at them. 
and uh, let us know how it goes. Good luck.